transition metal catalysts. I'm a card carrying inorganic chemist and actually my love is transition metal chemistry. Transition <coughs> metals are absolutely marvellous. Has anyone told you that before? They should have done. Transition metals are incredible. Why are they incredible? Well, they can do so much good stuff. Transition metals, not like carbon atoms. Carbon atoms are tied to boring sets of really rigid geometries. Transition metals can exist in linear, trigonal, planar, square planar, tetrahedral, square pyramidal, trigonal, bipyramidal, octahedral, other geometries, a huge raft of different geometries. And they're not tied to oxidation states. One of the really powerful things that goes to the definition of a transition metal is that it can exist in variable oxidation states with partially filled d orbitals. D orbitals are absolutely marvellous as well. What's marvellous about a d orbital is its directionality. They're not like s orbitals, they're not amorphous spheres. D orbitals point in very specific directions. That allows them to interact with the orbitals on our ligands to do interesting stuff to our ligands. So if I coordinate a ligand to a transition metal, I change it. If I take an alkene molecule, a very simple alkene molecule like ethene, and coordinate it to a transition metal, if I have an electron-rich transition metal, I can pump electron density into that ethene molecule and make it more likely to react with electrophilic reagents. If I coordinate my ethene to an electron-deficient transition metal, I can make it electron-deficient and more susceptible to attack by nucleophiles. That's the basis of catalysis. If I can lower the activation barriers for reactions, I can make ethene react with things that it wouldn't react with before. And I can do that by coordinating it to transition metals. 